Oh, it's looking like another wonderful day to build something. All right, this may just look like your regular treadmill, but it's about to get its first useful option. All right, so in another video, when you saw me cutting out the uh, design for my wife's mirror frame, other parts of that aluminum sheet were more projects that she had asked me to do. And uh, this is one that I really need to benefit off of so that I look better in that mirror. <laughs> and so what we got, this is just, just a rectangle piece that got cut from that same sheet. Got to clean it up, got to make some measurements. I've got some quarter inch by one and a half inch aluminum that I'm just going to make a small little frame for it and then uh, try and get it hooked up to the front of the treadmill for a little stand so that we can still be lazy while we're trying to work out and we want to be able to watch uh, some YouTube or Netflix on our laptop or something. I mean, I don't know about you, but if I can take my mind off of actual running, it works a lot better for me. So I'm going to get this cleaned up, take some measurements, and uh, we'll just get rolling with it, I suppose. As per usual, clamps are our friends. So is a little bit of hearing protection, even though they're cold. Alright, so I figured I would just give this one out there for any inquiring minds uh, or before people just point it out blatantly. Uh, the wire wheel that I'm using now, it's been used for lots of things, so it's probably contaminating the crap out of the aluminum. Also, when I weld this thing, I'm wearing gloves that I use for everything. And for this project, it's more of an annoyance. It's not like it has to be uh, completely clean welds. It's not x-ray, you know. None of that stuff, so there's lots of things like that that I didn't take that extra precaution on just because it's A, for myself, and B, it doesn't really need it. Alright, so what you can see here is I just took off the areas of the... Um, aluminum oxide layer, the mill scale if you will, in the areas that I plan on welding this up. So that's pretty much my frame outside, a middle deal. So and then that surface can just be the top. So what's left other than to uh, get some dimensions. Yeah, this is gonna look goofy, but we're gonna do it anyways. So, 
what we're going to end up doing, we're going to make <coughs> the outside frame create a lip on the top side so if we put things on there and they roll around or whatever, that, that'll work. And then I'm going to still put in this middle gusset, but since it's all one and a half material, you know, it's going to stick up really goofy like. <laughs> I got a way around that. We'll make this work and it'll look all right. Waste the material, but it'll work. All right, so just so that <clears throat> we can keep you abreast, this is 30 inches. So with the quarter inch material that I got, I'm gonna go with 30 and a half, <clears throat> I think. You know what, I'm just going to go, uh, say, 30 and a quarter, and then I'll have an eighth inch overlap and I can do that outside. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to have 30 and a quarter, <laughs> times two, and then it's going to be... 16 and I'm going to need four of them just because I'm going to do something really goofy right here. More or less I'm going to make kind of a wonky, probably not 90 degree angle out of this and sit it up here and you guys will see when it's done. I'm just going to use my junk brush, not my aluminum only brush, my junk brush. Just clean this out. It's, it's been coming. I needed it. some spacers that I can space this piece of aluminum up with. I've got my pieces cut so that I have a slightly overlapping and by that like an eighth inch so it should be roughly half the material thickness that I can do an outside corner joint and have it's just a fillet weld. And then what I'm going to do here on the middle So then what I got going on here in the middle is I'm just going to put an angle like this on these two pieces and it's probably like I say going to be a little bit more than 90 and just so that it will sit flush or below whatever remainder height I have on the rest of the frame. So this will just give it a little bit of strength. Probably completely unnecessary, but, you know, overkill. Why not, right? So that's what, that's, that's the plan, Stan. I just gotta find some spacers. And fixture, clamp, do whatever. And start getting this thing together. Alright, so... This is part one, thanks for watching, look forward to part two coming soon. I just want you guys' opinion, if you want to leave it in the comments. Would you rather me make videos where I break it down and show you what I'm doing like this one, or more like the video of the mirror frame where it's all just a bunch of snippets put together for you guys to watch the entire project in one video.